Hello, welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I am your host, Ilham Ahmadov. President Ilham Aliyev signed an executive order on measures regarding the construction of Baku Shamakhiyevlah Pirakashkul Highway of Apsheron District. According to the executive order, 3 million 300 thousand manats were allocated to Azerbaijan Automobile Yollar State Agency in that regard. On the initiative of the Russian side, a meeting took place between the ministers of foreign affairs of Azerbaijan and Armenia, Jehun Bayramov and Ararat Mirzoyan, on the sidelines of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the CIS in Minsk. Jehun Bayramov underlined Azerbaijan was ready for the normalization of relations with Armenia based on the principles of international law, in particular respect for the sovereignty, territorial integrity and inviolability of borders of states. He emphasized that it is important to start the negotiations on the delimitation of borders. Also, the necessity of submissions of mind maps by Armenia was accentuated. Jehun Bayramov also met with his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov. The two ministers discussed events to be held within the framework of the 30th anniversary of the establishment of the diplomatic relations between the two countries. Also, the exchange views on the full implementation of the Trilat Statement, dated 10th November 2020, and regional issues. Despite all challenges, Azerbaijan is ready for normalization of relations with Armenia on the basis of respect to principles of international law, special respect for sovereignty, territorial integrity of states, and inviolability of borders, said Minister of Foreign Affairs of Azerbaijan, Jehun Bayramov, at the meeting of the Council of CAS Foreign Ministers. Quote, Azerbaijan calls on Armenia to launch the border delimitation demarcation process in compliance with the above-mentioned principles. Azerbaijan is committed to fulfilling obligations arising from trilateral statements in Karabakh and agreements on unblocking all communications in the region. The unblocking of communications will benefit all countries in the region and strengthen the role of the South Caucasus in international transport projects. End of quote. Russia supports unconditional implementation of all provisions of the trilateral statements on Karabakh, said the spokesperson for Russian Foreign Ministry, Maria Zakharova, at the traditional weekly briefing. Moscow supports the unconditional implementation of all provisions of the trilateral statements of the Russian, Azerbaijan and Armenian leaders dated November 9, 2020, as well as January 11, 2021. We consider that with this, the important opportunities will be established for normalization of mutual relations as well as bilateral complex issues between Baku and Yerevan. The delegation of the Argentine online TV channel Realpolitik, which visited the liberated territories of Azerbaijan, prepared a documentary film entitled Internally Displaced Persons from Karabakh, The Value of Land. Despite threats and pressure from the Armenian community in Argentina, the documentary was shown and posted on the channel's official YouTube page. The film dwells on the history of the military aggression of Armenia against Azerbaijan, shows footages of historical and cultural monuments, religious temples destroyed during the occupation of Agdam and Fizuli regions. The film also includes interviews with internally... The rudeness of the police towards the protesting citizens in Yerevan sparked a wave of discontent in the country. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan recalled the Armenian ambassador to Iran and this angered the diplomat. In the capital or regions of Armenia, regardless of age and gender, residents are dissatisfied with the treatment of people by the police and brutal torture. Citizens claim that they are already tired of this behavior of police officers. The spread of footage on social networks today about the use of force by the police against a former serviceman in front of the building of the Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs of Armenia has further angered people. As can be seen from the video, the words of the chief of police to the law enforcement officers hit on the head very hard, angered the citizens. According to Armenian media reports, the beaten serviceman was taken to one of the hospitals and is in coma. Human rights defenders and members of the country's Bar Association plan to send a joint statement to the relevant authorities, including international humanitarian organizations. Meanwhile, Armenia continues to recall its ambassadors from abroad. This time, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan recalled the Armenian ambassador to Iran, Artashes Tomanyan, and this angered the diplomat. 
He announced that he would never return to Armenia. It is reported that the former ambassador to Iran is a person from the inner circle of the tandem of ex-presidents Kocharyan Sarkisyan. He served as the first deputy foreign minister during the time of the Khojale executioner Sergei Sarkisyan. 1,448 infections with the novel coronavirus were registered in Azerbaijan. 847 people recovered after treatment and were released home. 11 people who earlier tested positive for COVID-19 died. The overall confirmed cases in Azerbaijan have reached 496,780, with 476,229 recoveries and 6,720 deaths. The number of active infections is 13,831. To detect new infection cases over the past day, 10,092 tests and overall 4 million 989,627 tests have been conducted in Azerbaijan, the task force under the Cabinet of Ministers reported. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.